Hey guys, and welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace an image that you can pull right off of Google. So, let me show you how. Let's start by just tracing this wing. Now, we only have to trace one side of this wing, and then we can copy it over. So we want to go into the Bezier tool, and we're going to just trace the outline of the body. So, just it really how it can be. It's very simple. Don't make it too complicated of an outline. It should be very simple. Like that. Now, bring it back. And let's change the stroke to red so we can see it. And go into the node edit tool. Zoom in a bit and just kinda adjust this until it matches the shape of the head adjust it bring it down there we go like that now let's make sure that bring that out a little bit so I can that in like that. There we go. This body is kind of not very symmetrical, but let's do the best we can. Like this. And drag this out. Try to make everything flow together. And then that's just a straight line. And let's round it down here at the bottom. Okay, that looks good. Now let's trace the very first wing. We're going to start with the outline of it. So, turn off snapping. Look here. Very rough. And like that. And like that. And you can do it every one on the inside of the body since this is all going to be on the very bottom layer. So again, turn the stroke to be red. Zoom in a bit on the wing and just drag it out a little bit. like that. There we go. And bring it out there. And just bring it to the edge of that black line. Make everything flow. And that's looking really good. So let's just do that real quick and the rest of the wing. There we go. Now well, let's just get rid of the actual butterfly just real quick to see how... Actually, you don't need to do that. Now just go to where you know your nodes are and make sure everything flows. This line should be flowing really nicely. Like right there is not quite acceptable. So I'm going to... Let's do that. That's way better. Right there is definitely too a little too harsh. So let's bring those corners down. This could just be a little more touching up like that. Perfect. There we go. Nice and smooth all the way around. Now that you got the outside of the wing, let's move on to these little like blue things sticking out so it's just kinda 
Now remember, we only have to do one wing. And this is pretty quick. And... Drag that out. Drag this out. Here we go. Also, I'm just gonna change the stroke to red again. Because that makes it a lot easier to see. Looks like that's a little... That's good. Okay. This one's a little more complicated. Of course, we can smooth it out just a little bit. And like that. Red. No tool, and bring it out. Just kind of rough. Looks good. And let's do these final two. Let's try that. And red. Of course, we're going to change all this back to black. Or maybe even no stroke at all. Okay, so... Bring it out like that. There we go. That looks good. And... There we go. And let's trace the last one. So... Right there right there, there and that's basically a straight line bring that out bring that out and bring it out just like that now I got all those wings traced now let's add the holes now I'm not going to add as many holes as it has. So that would take a while. I'm just going to skip a couple here. Oops. This is the kind of time consuming part, drawing up all these circles, but I'll just get kind of the most important ones. And then each one of these we're going to difference. There we go. Okay. And you got that. Zoom on it. And select path difference. That wing's done. Let's move on to this one. Okay. And then the last two. Of 
course, there's a shortcut for temperance, which is control minus, and try that. Control shift minus also does difference. That's pretty fast too. There we go. Now that we got all those, we're not going to trace those little outside guys. Yeah, I'll change these to kind of that aqua blue. Or actually, put a gradient. And make your gradient. Oops, that's the dropper tool. Make your gradient. And we don't want it to be a radial gradient. We want it to be a linear gradient. So let's bring it out. Just like that. And while you have that one point selected, go into the dropper tool. And select it like that. Select this and select it like that. And we got that same gradient. Let's do that to this one and all of them. Select this. That color. Right here is that color. There we go. And then just do that to the rest of them real quick. So this is pretty easy. I don't want that gradient control C. And go to the dropper tool. Boom. Back into the gradient tool. Okay, and last one. That's at the gradient. that very light color darker color now that you got that you can delete the image behind it or actually let's just trace these super quick And let's just do this super rough. And note there. Bring it in. Bring it in. And make it black. No stroke. Let's redo that real quick with like just a stroke. And now this requires a little bit of working. Let's change it back to red. Get that curve in it. Oops. And there we go. That looks great. So now make that a little bit thicker, like a six. Whoa, that's way too thick. Maybe like a four. One. There. Select both of these. Union. Oh my. We might be able to work with that. Take the node tool. And. Whoops, zoom in a bit. That does not look that bad. I just 
this kind of looks like it's turning. So make it black. Move the stroke. Looks pretty cool. Now delete the image behind it. Now we'll copy over copy everything over. So make the wing black. We like the body gray. Body is going to be the total top layer. Now let's copy this with all the wings on it. Control D H. Now move it over. Let's go. That looks no, I need a little more moving in. Much better. Take your little antenna, H, flip it, bring it over also. Bring them both down a little bit, both in the bottom layer. And there you go, that image came straight from that and you can see they look very similar so actually let's get rid of the stroke on all of them and they look very similar of course you could have added those that more detail just i didn't want to let you guys sit through all that so i hope this video was useful and if it was don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time